Hello, hello, hello! What's up tonight, everyone? <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Tonight, for the first time since the release of the set, we're playing Dominaria Standard, and this deck, like I mentioned a minute ago, is like the most Dominaria influenced deck that I saw. So the idea of this deck, we're like blue white flash, but we're like blue white heroic or legendary flash. So the centerpiece of this deck is Raph Compassion Ships Mage, one of the legendary uncommons from the set. So for four mana, you get a three, three. It has flash. It has flying. The big deal is it gives all of your historic spells flash. So if you look at our deck, if we have a rash out, our entire deck is instant speed. We can play every single thing at instant speed. So that means we're flashing in our new Bane Slayer Angel, Lyra Dawnbringer. We're flashing in Planeswalkers, like the Fairy Hero of Dominaria, getting into the Trials. We're flashing in Sagas, like History of Benalia. So that's basically the idea of the deck, is we're going to play a Wrath, hopefully have it on the battlefield, and then just never, ever tap mana during our turn, flash in really powerful stuff at inconvenient times for our opponents so we can blow them out in combat, so we can attack after untapping by casting big angels and Planeswalkers on their end step. So that's our deck for tonight. Wrath Flash. So we're going to see how this goes. It's going to be interesting because we're going to be testing out a lot of new cards. So we're going to kind of try to get a feel for just how good History of Benali is, just how good uh, Lyra is and all that stuff is. So we have a lot of new cards to test out. The highlights are great, but the stream's even better live. So you can check it out Tuesdays and Thursdays, 6 p.m. Eastern time at twitch.tv backslash MTG Goldfish. Good time to interact, ask some questions, show off some deck lists, and just have some fun. So hope to see you then. Uh, so what do we do, chat? Do we just fire off History of Benalia and try to block? Maybe it's Ballista X1 with Tapland. Ballista on two next turn into Lyra? That actually seems... That actually seems pretty good. So Ballista X1, play Farmland. We're going to just wait on History of Benalia. Pass the turn. Opponent's got lots of action. They should have a really hard time killing Lyra, though. Lyra is not easily killed by this deck. I feel like this has got to be the best Lyra matchup. So opponent's getting in. Well, we're going to kill a Earthshaker, take three, down to ten. Ooh, to fairy two. Whoo! Oh, man, we got so many sweet cards in this deck. Walking Bliss X2. Oh, I think we might just be good. Ping Bomb at Courier. So our opponent can't draw cards. Pass the turn. Oh, man. I mean, we still could get run over by burn spells. But if we can get in, like, one or two hits with Lyra, life is really good. Ooh. All right. Killer Shaker. Chain World down. Oh, play a Plains. And, yeah, Lyra Dawnbringer. What do you got, opponent? Can you beat a Bade Slayer? Can you beat a Bade Slayer? Ooh, Hazareth the Fervent. Okay. Opponent passes. Land? Ooh, it's a land. All right. Void. Scry. Wrath. Do we keep Wrath? Wrath is interesting. I don't know if it's good, though. Uh, hmm. We can put Hazareth three cards deep and then probably lose to Fairy, but also gain life. That might be fine. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the right play. We're going to lose our Teferi, but play Teferi. Tuck Hazrat. Get in with Lyra. Gain a bunch of life. Then next turn, we get to double history, Benalia. Up to 14. Uh, land. No Hazrats. Ugh, another Hazrat. Ugh. All right. Well, they get to kill Teferi and hit us. And they're getting close to Earthshaker coming back. Ugh. All right. Down to nine. Supreme Will. Well, play History of Benalia. <sighs> All right. Double History of Benalia. Get in with Lyra. Pass the turn. See what happens. Back up to 14. Hopefully do some jumping. Come on. No land. No land. Let us jump. These double Earthshakers in the graveyard are scary. Okay. A Braid's a Knight. Sure. Well, we will definitely chump with this knight. We are more than okay with that. Opponent gets in. Yup. Knight, chump duty. Hazret's off the top next turn. Oh, the Teferi! The Teferi tuck! Opponent passes. Is Baneslayer just winning us this game? More knights. Get in with Lyra. Opponent, Lyra! Baneslayer! Baneslayer's a good magic card. We'll hit our opponent to five. Go up to 14. Play the island. Pass the turn. 
Another Hazrat, sure. No cards in hand. Good game opponent. Baneslayer. <laughs> Baneslayer is not going to take any crap from Hazrat. <laughs> Legion's Landing. So we're either winning or losing this turn, essentially. Opponent, getting in. Attacks and flips. Yep. All right, not that. Down to four. Oh, boy. Urza's Ruinous Blast. Wait. Oh, rules check chat. Is, is Ru Urza's Ruinous Blast a legendary? Can we flash this? Oh, I don't want to punt with this. Well, flash in Wrath. Untap. Are you sure? Okay. All right, all right. Well, we'll pass then. Play Zelfrin Void. Glacial Fortress to the bottom. All right. I'll trust you. I'll trust you, chat. If we lose, if we lose, I'm going to be very sad. Planes for our opponent. Goes to combat. Attacks, attacks, attacks. All right. I guess this is as good as it gets. Uh, Urza's Ruinous Blast? Are any of your permanents legendary, opponent? <laughs> Do you have any legends? <laughs> Oh, got him. We got him. We got... Oh, and they pass? Oh, Lord. Things are looking up. Things are looking up. Planes. I'm afraid to attack with Wrath because of Seal Away. Maybe that's silly. So, yeah, let's attack. Hit our opponent. Down to 17. Now we get to flash in a Lyra? Opponent. Yes. Makes a 1-1. One -one. Sure. Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Plays a land. We can also flash in History of Benalia. That might be even better here, because it plays around removal more. Hopefully force our opponent to use a cast out if they have it, and then that saves us, saves our Lyra from a cast out. All right. We'll flash in Lyra eventually. Our opponent shouldn't have any reach. And we get the knight right away. Come on, something big. Something, oh, Teferi. Teferi, make a knight. Well, play the planes. We will go attacking. Do we turn the corner? Oh, this deck is so sweet. Instant speed Urza's Ruinous Blast to just steal the win. Pass the turn. Leave up to Fairy. Leave up Lyra. We can flash in either. Pony has cast out. On Wrath. Well, we will take advantage of this and flash in a Lyra Dawnbringer. <laughs> Surprise! It's a Bane Slayer. <laughs> Uh, I really like this deck. I really like it. Phone it. Yeah. This is others. Ooh. All right. Dusk. And Dauntless Bodyguard. Opponent passes. Ooh, History of Benalia. Well, pump the knights. Go beating down. Hit our opponent. Let's play to fairy. Bounce. Ugh. Let's bounce cast out. Three in the library. Get back, Raph. Play the land. Let's leave up our flash history of Benalia. <laughs> Raph. Raph is being pretty awesome. Cast out. On Raph. Well, okay. Well, we will take this window to instant speed history of Benalia. <laughs> oh, good game, opponent. Good game. Uh, I guess it's not just over. Knight of Grace. Okay. Well, we get another knight. Er, uh, yup. Void. Well, play Void to Scry. Ooh, Trickster. Trickster. All right, put Trickster on top. Draw a card. Attack with everything. Opponent blocks and blocks. So let's Trickster on Knight of Grace. Get rid of that first strike. Kill it. Down to three. Pass the turn. Untap. So far, this deck seems pretty insane. And yeah, Merfolk Trickster... It loses all abilities until end of turn. And our opponent scoops it up. On to 2-0, and 2-0. Oh, oh. Have not dropped a game yet with Raph Flash. I am, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with this deck. Ooh, Raph. All right. Take up to Fairy. Trickster. Fire up Gideon. Hit our opponent. Down to four. Raph. Untap a couple lands. I feel it. I feel it coming. I feel the wind coming. Opponent's at four. Phone it. What do you got? The Secret of the Golden City. Sure. Draws three. We have not seen Approach. We're still not 100% sure what this deck is trying to do. We haven't actually seen a payoff. Desert's Hold. Um, sure. 
We'll just flash in our creatures. That's fine. Up to seven. So, History of Benalia. Make a Knight. Trickster. Yep. Untap. I think we got it. I think we got it. Ooh, and Ballista. Now we should definitely have it. Draw with Teferi. Double Syncope? All right. Now we definitely, definitely, definitely got it. On to 3-0 and oh with Blue White Wrath Flash. Wrath Flash. Hit our boat at, and that should be the game, boys and girls. The kids are eating, and the dream is alive. We got to draw Ruinous Blast. It's Ruinous Blast or bus time. That's it. Oh, it's got to be this turn. Got to be this turn. Come on, deck. It's more lands. So we block, we block. Chump, we chump. 4, 8, 12, 16. All right. We might be able to survive one more turn if our opponent has nothing. I, I'm not sure that we do, though. Pass the turn. Opponent. Counters on Lyra. And I think this means we're straight up dead. Because we won't have a legend on the battlefield if we chump and survive. Oh. Okay. <sighs> okay. We get one more shot at it. Hmm. So, block with Lyra, block here, yeah. So, block, block, I guess adding a counter doesn't do anything. Well, we might as well. Add a counter, ping the vampire, ping our opponent. All right, deck, all right, this is it, this is it. We got to draw the blast, blast or bust, come on, come on, deck. To fairy. Teferi doesn't do it, right? I guess we could draw a Settle to stay alive? Nope. Alright. Oh! Oh, no! Man. Wow. Alright, on to the last round. On to the last round. Oh, this is gonna be super close. Legion's Landing. Ugh, yep, yep, yep. And more? Just keeps coming? Servo exhibition. Good golly. Wow. Opponent is playing it the safest you can play it. Can we even survive a turn? Oh, this is looking bad. We found Ruinous Blast, but I think it's too slow. So we're dropping to 12. Then 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think Blast is our only potential out. So opponent hits us to 12 and passes. We take an island. We pass the turn. So we need Raph to live. We need us to live. And we need Ruinous Blast to resolve. Our opponent might not over attack. Gets in. Flips. Okay. Well, let's take six. We got a chance. If they have a cast out, it all falls apart. Ooh, no cast out. Is there... Oh, Oh, we're gonna steal it! 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 Oh, it's happening! Raph! We're playing Raph end step to play around as much removal as possible. Play Raph, untap. Play an island. Uh, it has flying. Is there any way we get more value by waiting? Or should we just fire it off now? If we fire it off now, we can attack. All right. Let's blast. Let's blast. Best card in our deck. It's going to come through. It was looking grim. Get out of here, entire board. <laughs> but not our Wrath. Get in there, Wrath. We get to follow up with Trickster, Gideon's Defeat, Teferi. Oh, we're doing it. We got the 4-1. Oh, I feel, I feel very confident now. I feel like we're probably getting there. Glorybound Initiate. Yep. Legion's Landing. Sure. Opponent passes. Well, let's play... Teferi. Draw with Teferi. Ooh, settle. Pass the turn. Uh, no attacks for now. No attacks. We're gonna block the vampire. Untap, untap. Oh, I think we're doing it. Wow, the kids are eating. We're cracking chess. We can beat dunes. We can beat dunes. We're just, I think we're good now. I have a hard time seeing them pushing through these points of damage. Ooh, four mana. Exelon's binding Teferi is annoying. Or maybe they... Wow, they're hitting Wrath. Okay. Well, that's fine. Now I think we just let our opponent attack in Gideon's defeat. Yep. Get rid of Glorybound. Take one. Down to five. Untap. 
Lyra. It's a Lyra. It's a Lyra. And a blast. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, play Lyra. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, this deck is great. We lost to vampires, but this deck is great. It's great. It's great. It's legit. We can get back our raft with the ruinous blast. The best card in our deck. Opponent casts out. Oh, man. This blast. The blast. It's going to be a scoop. It's going to be a scoop. It's going to be a scoop to the blast. It's happening. Yeah, get our Lyra. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Opponent gets in for one. Oh, this blast. Yup. Down to four. Untap. Draw with Teferi. Another one! And, uh... Urza's Ruinous Blast? We will pass the turn. What do you say, opponent? What do you say? We still playing? We still playing? Oh, it's so good! It's so good! And our opponent scoops it up! Oh, we were so close to the 5-0! We were! First games we ever played with this deck, and we end up with a 4-1. With Wrath Flash, the deck is really good. It's really good. And the match we lost was super close, so we definitely we definitely could have went 5-0 with this deck. So feedback on the deck before we open the treasure chest. In general, the deck was awesome, and I think it could be a legit deck in the standard format. The things that stuck out about the deck, the voids were super obnoxious for us. I don't think it's worth it. Play Field of Ruin, play Scavenger Grounds. I don't think it's worth it in this deck. The scrying is nice, but the colorlessness, when you have Merfolk trister, Tricksters, you have double white, you got double blue, that was a big problem, and we struggled because of that at some point. So I would probably do something like three Field of Ruins and one, one Scavenger Grounds. So I would probably do something like that in place of the voids, would be my mana base. Um, and then the other thing is, and I'm not sure how to exactly build this, I liked Merfolk Trickster was a surprise all-star, the card was way better than it looked, especially in this deck with all the Flash stuff, Wrath was super sweet, End Step, and then Flash in Urza's Ruinous Blast, Teferi's great, Lyra was game-winning on its own, so uh, History of Benalia was very strong, although I feel like it was good, but I felt like we were scrying it to the bottom a lot, and it wasn't... I don't know if it was necessarily great in this build in specific, but I think we saw a lot of people playing in it, and it was very good. The other thing is these Ruinous Blasts. This is the card of the deck. It's in the sideboard, but this was a card that won us so many of the games. It is so, so strong. So Urza's Ruinous Blast, the challenge is... With sealed aways, cast outs, all that kind of stuff, it's kind of hard to just run them, so it would take a bit of rebuilding. You can't just play all these enchantments and then blow up all your own enchantments. But maybe something like go into Esper, so you don't have to play enchantment-based removal, and then you can all then you can play Urza's Ruinous Blast in the main deck, and then Urza's Ruinous Blast is just so insane. So anyway, let's uh, let's crack open our chests. We have eight treasure chests to open. Hopefully there's some sweetness hiding in these eight chests. Let's crack open these chests. One of eight, we get... How? Oh! Mox! It's a Mox! I've never opened a Mox! This is my first piece of power. I mean, I guess in Limited, when the set was out, it's a Mox Sapphire. It's gotta be worth a little something, right? It's gotta be worth something. 15 ticks. All right, 15 ticks. Not, <laughs> not retirement money. It, it adds nothing, apparently. It just taps to add. <laughs> it's a mathematician. Oh, man. Okay. And a pummeler. Well, let's... Maybe we just open, like, the whole Power 9. Minus Time Twister in these HS. That would be sweet. Limb Duel the Necromancer. Eh, Finding Commander. Inspired Charge. All right. Not as exciting. I wouldn't mind a Fire Song and Sunspeaker, so I can build a Commander deck around it. 15 play points. Halar, the Fire Fletcher. And a Run Aground. Eh. Not as cool as a Mox. Come on, more Mox. More Mox in. We get Divinity of the Pride. Divinity of the Pride is a sweet card. Not a valuable card. Ally Strangler, Wayward Giant. Eh, all right. Four to go. Halfway through our 4-1 chest. Ooh, 40 play points. That's not bad. That's our second best open so far. Archer, Hope Tender. Meh. Come on. At least one more good card. Neferox, Overlord of Grix. Ah, I can't wait for Corsets to come back. Corsets going to be sweet. Saving Grace, Defiant Salvager. Ugh. Well, maybe we're just getting the Mox. Maybe that's it. Ooh, never mind. Bitter Blossom. Bitter Blossom. That's got to be worth something, too. Bitter Blossom. Come on. What's the value? Bitter Blossom, Modern Masters, worth. 
11 ticks, 11, we'll take it, 11 to go with our, our mock, so second best open, not bad, not bad, and we still have one to go, these chests have been pretty good, come on, one more good open, Black Lotus, and 20 play points, Metallic Rebuke's playable, well, those were some good chess. We had good chess. We had a good league all around. Uh, that was pretty spectacular. So I think that's going to bring us uh, to the end for tonight. So you all are awesome. We had a ton of viewership tonight. We had donations and subs. I'm blown away. Like, you, uh, you guys and girls and everyone, people, just, you always blow me away. It is amazing for the, thank you so much for the support and for hanging out. It was a really fun one. So reminders on the way out the door. First, a big one before everyone starts running for the exits. But big one, uh, sponsor, Ridge Wallet sponsors the stream. They Provide super slim front pocket wallets. You can get 10% off with the code goldfish at ridgewallet.com. Also, uh, yeah, they offer free shipping, carbon fiber, titanium wallets. They're really sweet. Replay YouTube. You can find all the old streams. Normal YouTube. Against the odds coming out tomorrow. The deck is sweet. It's in standard. Playing Dominaria. Dominaria is amazing. Also, merch page. We got the third edition tokens available. So, anyway, you're all amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you for watching, subscribing. Don't Donating. You're amazing. Have a wonderful Wednesday. We'll be back on Thursday to have some more fun. Hopefully feed the children and do the Ridge Wallet giveaway. In the meantime, like I said, Against Odds tomorrow is super sweet, so check that out. Again, thanks, and yeah, see you on Thursday. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.